Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. Today we're talking about this Armada ARW 106. Uh, awesome ski, new for 2025. The rest of, or the narrower ARW ski is changed for 2024, but this one is new for 2025 and it's super fun. Uh, the ARV and the ARW skis are actually the same now. So you kind of have your pick of two different graphics. Um, so I've skied this despite this being the quote unquote women's ski, which I don't even really know that you can say is correct anymore because they're, they're really just different graphics. Uh, but yeah, super fun. Uh, what was particularly rewarding for a lot of our ski testers this year is in our formal condensed three day ski test, we had a ton of fresh snow uh, it was pretty legitimate, at least the first two days were, were legitimate powder days, uh, and obviously a ski that's 106 underfoot is a ton of fun to test when you have fresh snow. Um, we'll talk about the feedback a little bit towards the later the end of this video, but overall people were really impressed, and, and something that I thought was particularly noteworthy is we saw some really positive reactions and scores, both in like the written feedback and numerical scores for both things like maneuverability and things like stability. So I think Armada has achieved a, a very well-rounded kind of twin tip free ride ski in this ARW 106. Um, for 2025, all ARV and ARW skis get poplar wood cores. In fact, I, I think all Armada skis across the board get poplar wood cores. Um, we get an ash binding insert just underfoot. That's helping with binding retention overall. So say you're landing a really big jump or something like that, you're, you don't have to worry about your, your bindings ripping out of the ski, nor should you. Uh, so nice to have that ash binding insert in there. Uh, and then we get the wedge wall technology too. That's this cool technology that's increasing durability right along your edges. Um, something that Armada has been committed to for a long time. They use kind of the thickest edge you can get. So out of any ski manufacturer, you're not going to find a thicker metal edge than what Armada uses. So that's kind of the construction, the recipe for this ARW100. Like I was saying, uh, in our test results, to me it looked to be a very well-rounded ski just based on the feedback of all the different people that skied this thing. And it really comes through in the flex pattern. You know, when you start to kind of analyze what this ski can do or what it's intended to do, this nice round flex pattern is so helpful it's supportive, it's not just a noodle, it's not gonna fold underneath you, but it's forgiving and it's easy to manipulate. And, and I just think Armada is doing a really, really good job controlling the flex pattern in these AR, ARV and ARW skis. Um, this is pretty big, 106 underfoot, it's a 172 centimeter length, 1835 grams. So it's not a crazy heavy ski by any means, there are, Certainly lighter skis on the market, although when you get up to 106 underfoot, you're not going to find much that's tremendously lighter than that. Uh, so again, kind of just a nice like middle of the road, well-rounded weight to go along with that well-rounded flex. Um, and then looking at shape, there's a nice progression as you move up in width in the ARV and ARW line. So. The narrower skis don't have much tip and tail rocker and are mostly camber. This 106, being one of the wider models, has some substantial tip and tail rocker. Uh, more noticeable up here in the tip, you know, it is, it's not truly symmetrical in its, in its rocker profile. You get slightly longer tip rocker than tail rocker. That's really just going to further boost its float in soft snow, and this is a perfectly appropriate powder ski for a lot of skiers. East, west, I don't really care. Anywhere in there, 106 underfoot with this rocker profile and this shape is gonna float pretty darn well. Sure, there are situations where you want something wider, but I don't know, how often do we find ourselves in those situations? So a really nice shape, 
Uh, and then something that I think they did great on the kind of new generation of ARV and ARW skis is this slight early taper. Uh, it is still kind of spoony up here, a nice amount of surface area, so you get good float, but it's not catchy. It's very maneuverable. Um, sometimes when you have a ski like this with this rocker profile, but if you have like really extended side cut, it can just kind of feel like a lot in soft snow, but this just cuts right through and, and lets you maneuver and, and wiggle pretty easily. Um, so great ski. Like I said, we had a number of different skiers on it. Um, I would highly encourage you to go over to the test results page if you're not on it already. Read through the feedback from different skiers. You'll see that a lot of them just loved it. Uh, I think Allison gave it like a 10 out of 10 for every category, which is, you know, arguably slightly ridiculous, but I appreciate it. I have done that for skis, and, and sometimes you just get on a ski and it just really speaks to you personally. The, the subjective performance just works incredibly well for you, and obviously she's somebody that it worked really well for. Uh, but then we also, we had skiers like Megan. Megan has a race background. Uh, pretty aggressive kind of down the fall line skier always keeps her skis pointed downhill she got on it she's not traditionally a, a twin tip skier uh, and she loved it it was super fun for her easy to to maneuver a um, lot of float for the snow that we had uh, and just just a great overall ski so that's it that's the new arw 106 from armada let us know if you have any questions about it and we'll see you out there on the slopes